everybody. So it is Renee from Rat Stash. We are in Claremont, Florida, and I am at the Citrus Tower. There it is. <laughs> I'm going up 226 feet up in the air to go look around. So uh, keep watching. Hope you aren't afraid of heights. <laughs> talk to you soon at the top bye here is a model of the tower and there's Stacy hi Stacy wave Stacy hi <laughs> there's the model of the tower and there is the elevator that we go up in but it's really cool and I'll show you the tower outside Hi, everybody it's Renee from rat stash I'm on vacation uh, and I'm on vacation in Florida. We are at, uh, right now, 226 feet up in the air, and we are at the Citrus Tower in Claremont, Florida. So I'm gonna take you for a spin around the observation desk. All right, watch. Hope you're not afraid of heights. <laughs> Again, I said we are 200 and 26 feet up in the air. Uh, there is the House of Presidents, and you can see Mount Rushmore over there in the corner. Um, out there is Lake Mineola. Lake Mineola. And we are about, here I'll show you the sign. Uh, we are about um, one mile away from Lake Mineola. So, isn't that pretty? All right, let's take a walk here through. We came up in an elevator, so if anybody wants to visit, just a fun fact, you don't have to walk up all those flight of steps. There is an elevator. It cost us $10 to get in, and if you are a AAA member, it is a discount. So again, this is Lake Mineola. We are, here's some fun facts, we are uh, 55 miles away from Wikiwaki and 60 miles away from the Gulf of Mexico, which is normally our vacation spot is Gulf of Mexico, which I love. That's my favorite spot to go vacationing. But this year we decided to go a little bit more north and venture up here and see what's up here. Okay, so now we are looking at North Apolka, largest spring-fed lake, citrus trees within 2,000 square mile area seen from the tower. So, now we watched a video from 1950s when this opened, and there was none of this here. It was just all orchard, orange orchard trees, but it is very much populated now. That's just neat to see. Nice scenery. All right, and let's walk over here. So now we're gonna go east, Winter Garden, Lake Apoka, and the Turnpike is up here. So there's a nice view. All right, and now let's go south and where we were staying, right outside of Disney World, 15 miles. There is the natural lakes in Lake County. Now, you can kind of see over there, you can see the deer running. See them running? There's deer running down there in that field. Oop, they just hopped the fence. <laughs> now, don't go on the highway. Now, I was thought that as being as high up as we are, 
being 226 feet up in the air, we would have saw some remnants or something of Disney World because we're only about 15, 20 minutes from Disney. Um, but no, you know, that was one thing that's very surprising to me. I, was, I thought for sure we'd be able to see like the castle on the horizon or the Epcot ball or something like that, but we, that's pretty much well hidden. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna make the final turn around the bend. We'll come back, this is so nice. It's air conditioned in here. They have stools in here. Downstairs there's a cafe. You can get really great frozen drinks. Like, look at this one. Cream, orange cream latte. And we'll end back with the Hall of Presidents and the big Mount Rushmore statue. We might actually venture over there. That looks a little fun. Right down in front here, this building right here in front, is the Hebrew Bible um, College. So I will take a picture of that. I thought that was actually neat. It's, it, it's an old bank, and they made it into a Hebrew Bible College. So. Okay, one second. I know it wasn't a thrifting video, and uh, I haven't been thrifting or yard sailing. Um, today is, this week is just relaxation, pool, and having great time with girlfriends. So, um, hope you enjoyed this little video. But I thought this would be something fun, uh, something different to show. It seems like it is something n people don't usually come to. Um, we had no weight coming here, <laughs> and as you can see, me, well, Stacy's hiding in the corner, but me and Stacy are the only ones up here. So if you are local or you're in the area or coming to the Disney area, this is really something to see. Um, cute little day trip, take a tour, come on up, and enjoy yourself. Now our next uh, step from here is we're going to the Citrus Showcase, which is going to be a uh, ride out into the orchards. So I might show you a little clip from that, but you guys have a great week. I hope you guys are all being safe and, and happy. I hope you are thrifting. Uh, let me know what kind of fun things you have found this week. Me, taking a week off from thrifting. <laughs> all right, talk to you later. Oh, and P.S. Todd, I miss you. <laughs> Bye. Couldn't go a whole moment without having any kind of vintage stuff to look at. So when this opened up in 1955, they have some of um, their, you know, souvenir stuff. So look at the old farmer tractor um, hat, Citrus Tower in Claremont. They have patches. They have the guidebooks. And look at the Viewmaster. They even have the Viewmaster. <laughs> they made souvenir plates for the tower. So this used to be a really, really huge deal. Um, so there is some vintage stuff for you guys to look at. Uh, obviously, I couldn't go a whole day without looking at something vintage or finding something vintage. Um, none of this stuff is for sale, but really neat to look at. These are all like the old maps and old postcards. Um, again, there's more Viewmasters. There is the orange bag where the inside this room here, they used to actually sell the oranges from around, but now that the groves are gone, it's just the tower. So it looks like they're actually getting a Puerto Rican. Um, eatery and bistro coming in so that's gonna be so much fun I would enjoy that highly enjoy that but this is what the coffee shop looks like or drink shop they have really cool mid-century modern furniture here you sit down and you see a video before you go up as to what it was like and every table that they have here has a chess set and the young lady that I was talking to, she said that they do have a lot of people come in here for coffee and play chess and such. So, um, 
this here is a bell. It's a cabinet that housed the glass tubes used to power the entire coordination system. And you can see the tubes in there. Sorry of the glare. And this is a this used to play music. And this is for the bells. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in the glare there. Okay, well, just wanted to show this to you and all the mid mid century modern furniture. Just think it's so cute. Over here, I love this set. See, I would have this, this would be a set I would have in my own home. I just love that. Beautiful. Okay, well, you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you later.